All right, so we're going to do additionally. Let's go over this. So if you said, you know, Stephen, you know, likes fishing, you know, fishing and hunting. Additionally, he likes soccer. It sounds okay. Let's say we said this. Stephen likes fishing, hunting, and uh, archery. Additionally, he likes soccer. I think the comma is pretty superfluous. Um, I guess it depends. I think it would depend on the length of the sentence, especially if it's a short sentence. I don't think you would need a comma. Um, you know, you could also say Stephen. And the reason why you would use additionally, so so I think it's this is not very good. I think if 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 you've got one item here, there's no reason to use additionally. Even if with two items, right, fishing and hunting. But if you have like three or more items that are all interrelated. It, there's sort of a there's sort of like a punch when you when you say additionally he likes soccer because it's a little bit different and it's kind of funny. It's a little bit it's an interesting sort of way to construct this. Um, and so from a writer's perspective, or if, rather from the reader's perspective, you know I think that that it would it would would have some some positive attributes. Um, so the more I'd say three three or more, uh, this this is a pretty good you know two sentence. Um, grouping. So if you said like fishing, hunting, you know, so if you said, and obviously the, the more different this item is than, than these three, the uh, better, right? So if, if you said something like comic books, you know, he likes fishing, hunting, archery, and, uh, you know, something that is related but is a little wacky is taxidermy, um, which is connected to hunting, right? So he, he hunts the, you know, he hunts and then he he stuffs the, you know, the dead animal and, he, you know, and then he puts it on his wall. Like, that's that's wild. But it's all sort of in the ecosystem. And it, it would at least make sense it's still in the same family, right? Stephen likes fishing, right? Like, like killing wild animals, like killing wild animals to eat, like wild fish to eat. Hunting, right? Hunting elk or you know uh, other other uh, other uh, uh, wild animals, and then archery. So it's still it's still outdoorsy. You're still like shooting projectiles, and it's still it's still out outdoorsy. It still makes sense in that universe. And then taxidermy, it still kind of makes sense. Still related. And then comic books is very different. So I think it fits when you say, you know, additionally he likes comic books. Because if you said, if you said Stephen likes fishing, hunting, archery, taxidermy, which some people think is really creepy, <laughs> and comic books. It, it definitely fits here in comic books. It, it's funny and it's interesting and you, you definitely want to, end with comic books you don't want to put comic books in the middle um because it just looks strange you know you want to put all these sort of together and then something that's sort of isolated you know for for comic effect and just for the readers for the reader not to work too hard you want the reader to work but not too hard right you're, you're gonna isolate it here um it also has perhaps even more comic effect here. Stephen likes fishing, hunting, archery, and taxidermy, which also, when you mention these four things, you're just imagining, wow, Stephen is busy. Stephen doesn't have a lot of free time. Like Stephen, or Stephen is always outdoors. He's never indoors. He's, he's always doing stuff with wild animals, you know? Um, actually, taxidermy is indoors, but you, you know what I mean. Like it's it's with wild animals, and he's, you know? So there's so, some humor here. You know, additionally, he likes comic books because it's so different. Um... So, so yeah, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, I don't like like 
I, I don't like this as much. I think it's pretty juvenile. You 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 could use it. Um, I'd say two is the m bare minimum that like 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 you 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 would 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 want to use. But ideally, if you want to write above like middle school level or or elementary school level, there's nothing wrong with middle school or elementary school level. But if if you want to start writing with more panache, more punch, a little bit more confidence, like these little decisions make a big difference, right? So. Once you have three or more, now it seems like it flows better. Stephen likes fishing, hunting, and archery. Additionally, he likes soccer. Stephen likes fishing, hunting, archery, and taxidermy. Additionally, he likes comic books. Um, and then you, you you could could use this where it's one sentence, no additionally. Um, and uh, yeah, so let, let's go over a couple more examples. Let's, let's do, uh, you know, I, I, you also want to think of the context. So the context or the venue um, where this word would sound appropriate. Okay, I'll give you an example. Uh, from a marketing perspective, where do you see additionally used like out in the wild? And I'm not talking about in the wild in terms of these animals. I'm talking about in the wild in terms of in, in the human day-to-day, modern-day society, uh, etc. And that's in terms of a business trying to sell you products or have offerings. So you could say, you know, uh, Comcast, you know, um, I could say something like after haggling over my bill for over an hour with the, um, with the, uh, you know, support person um, with the Comcast support person. Uh, you could say they or she. If you're talking to a, a, a female, you could say they, meaning the company, you know, which sort of implies that maybe she put you on hold and the, the, she talked to somebody else and then they, 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 she got back on the phone and said, okay, I'll give you a better deal. So, you know, that's where they comes in handy. Um, after having, having over my bill for over an hour. And then here, over and over, repeated, it does look a little bit weird. So we'll, we'll fix that in a second. So let's just get through this sentence and then we'll go fix that. After haggling over my bill for over an hour with the Comcast support person, they decided... To um, give me a free upgrade that included cable, that included uh, you know that that included um, you know ten more sports channels and. Um, And a better modem. Additionally, you know they um, <clears throat> lowered my current bill by seven percent as long as I uh, as I extend my contract. For another year okay all right that makes sense so additionally so here is where additionally I think in the wild comes up a lot is if someone's offering you deals in the business world or what you know you, you see as as good deals or as specific features uh, and or benefits of the product or the services then you might use additionally if because it gets unwieldy right if you're putting it all in one sentence it just gets a little bit heavy so all right so after haggling over my bill for over an hour. So you want to add by subtracting. So you could do haggling for over an hour. So you could say bill haggling, right? Which is a little bit vague. It's kind of funny, but it, it's so rare. It's so rarely used and it's, it just looks weird that I wouldn't, I wouldn't include it. First thing I would try to do is omit that and see how it reads. After haggling for over an hour with the Comcast person, support person, 
So I think some of you might have already figured out what would be the best course of action about my bill. So you could put about my, 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 my bill here. Or you could put about my bill here. About my... Um, now, do you have to say about my high bill? Or my, you know, super high bill? Well, super high to who? Right? So, you, like, you would say from, you know, what I perceived as, you know, as a super high bill, right? Which is really kind of a mouthful. After haggling for an hour with a Comcast person about what I perceived as a super high bill, because if you just said super high bill, is it really, is it really super high? Or is it super high from the speaker's perspective? Um, you know, about my super high bill. They decided to give me a free upgrade. So, you know, this, you could still include this, but I also think it's extraneous. I totally think it's extraneous. So if you said about my bill, they decided to give me a free upgrade that included 10 more sports channels and a better modem. Additionally, they lowered my current bill by 7% as long as they extend my contract for another year. So, again, you want to be as clear as possible. while making the reader do a little work. <laughs> Just a little work, right? Um, and so this is good because we're giving them, you know, if you wrote super high bill, it just, it, it, it opens up a can of worms like in terms of describing like what I perceived as my super high bill or it was my super high bill but we already know it's a super high bill. We already know you believe it's a super high bill because of all of this. I mean, all of this, if, if you know, if, if a section of the sentence, right, helps clarify another section of the sentence um, without needing, you know, specific words, or phrases, then omit the extraneous words or phrases. All right, and that's really what the case is here. We know that you think it's a super high bill because of all of this information. We know you're not complaining about your low bill. <laughs> Um, because they were gonna, they would raise your bill. So if they're lowering your bill, then it's pretty obvious. Excuse me, let me just delete this. All right. So it's pretty obvious. So I would actually omit that. So that's really helpful. Um, additionally, you know, so so uh, one of the big places to put additionally is is in terms of the, that marketing uh, realm. If there's any other places you can use additionally, I would love to see it. It's basically in addition, right? So in addition, additionally or in addition. Um, and it's just adding on. It's making a, a further point. And it could actually be, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's sort of synonymous with furthermore. Um, But it's a bit, I would say it's a bit more formal. Right? So the, the, the venue. So like you could say furthermore. Furthermore, they lower my girl, but you know, which is fine. But furthermore, you know, additionally fits more in a formal context, like a business context. Um in a, in a, in a business, you know, so in like um so if you had like a uh, internal memo. Or it was like business uh, realm, marketing, sales, etc. Et in, in the commercial uh, 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 business realm and all that stuff. So hopefully this was helpful. This was additionally, and thanks a lot.